Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Love Starter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a universal analytics property in Google Analytics. I've had lots of people ask me how to create this type of property. You might be wondering why, since GA4 or Google Analytics 4 is the new and current version of Google Analytics. Well, the reason is that GA4 isn't currently compatible with some platforms like Shopify. And Universal Analytics comes with a range of pre-configured reports, so for some people getting started, it can be easier to get up and running with Universal Analytics. Okay, let's jump in and get started. First, let's look at the steps we need to take if we want to create a Universal Analytics property when creating a new Google Analytics account. I'm already in the admin area, so we can select Create Account on the left. We name our account. Choose if we want to share data. And click Next. Now we name our property. Select the reporting time zone and currency. And to create a universal analytics property for our new account, we need to select Show Advanced Options. We can then enable the option to create a universal analytics property. We enter our website's domain. And we can see that by default, we'll be creating a GA4 property at the same time. Unless you have a specific reason not to create a GA4 property, I would leave this option selected. Otherwise, you can choose to only create a Universal Analytics property. Then we click Next. And we can enter details about our business. This is optional. When you're happy, click Create. And we've now created a new Google Analytics account with a Universal Analytics property. Now let's look at the steps if we want to create a Universal Analytics property in an existing account. Let's select Create Property. We name our property. Select the reporting time zone and currency. Then we need to select Show Advanced Options and enable the option to create a Universal Analytics property. We enter our website's domain. And again, I recommend leaving the option to also create a GA4 property enabled. However, you can choose to only create a Universal Analytics property. Then we click Next. And we can enter details about our business. When you're happy, click Create. And we've now created a Universal Analytics property in an existing account. And since we selected the option to create both a Universal Analytics property and a GA4 property, make sure you select the Universal Analytics property in the center column. You can then find the tracking ID and tracking code for the property by selecting Tracking Info. That's it. So that's how you can create a Universal Analytics property in Google Analytics. I recommend that you also create a GA4 property in parallel to your Universal Analytics property. This will give you access to the best of both. And if you'd like to learn more about Universal Analytics or GA4, then please take a moment to check out the extra resources in the description below this video. How are you going to use your Universal Analytics property? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe, share it with your friends and hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this. See you next time.